Hello and welcome to the trailer review for Maxine. Doug, I don't know about you, but um, I feel like we've been waiting a very long time for this. We've been talking about it ever since news dropped that there was going to be a third movie in the, to make it a trilogy. You know, X, Pearl, and now this. I I did watch the trailer, but as I told as I told you, as a uh, tradition, I <laughs> listen. Hey, Doug, I, let's do a trailer reaction Monday. Fuck yeah, dude, let's do it. Uh, I watched it this morning. Cool. <laughs> I won't shit on you this episode since I shit on you the last episode. But I did watch it with. My, I was still in bed. the The phone was tilted down. I was not. My contacts are out. I kind of don't remember it. It's it's blurry. Okay. So I'm excited to watch it with fresh eyes and to watch the reaction with with you. I know what you mean. I almost started watching it because I was just scrolling, and boom, there it is. I was like, oh wait, no, gotta save it for the. Save it for the episode. And you shouldn't have. No, it was kind of unexpected how it dropped. Yeah. So it dropped at like 8 a.m. Well, Doug, without further ado, are you ready to watch this? Because I am. I'm ready to get let's, this going. Let's get into some Maxine Minx, baby. All right. Let's pull it up here. All right, Doug. Here we go. Maxine trailer. So, Maxine. Your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. That shot with the blood on the videotapes? Ooh. I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. Hey. The past ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine. 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 You're a fucking movie star. Whoa. That's how you do a trailer. Dude. <sighs> Damn, I don't even know what to say. I'm so <laughs> excited right now. <laughs> this might have shot up. I mean, we were already excited about it, but I yeah. this might be my most anticipated movie of the year for sure. Oh my god, the aesthetic of it. That shot with the blood splattering across the videotapes. The blood on the tapes, and when he holds oh. the knife up with the leather gloves against like that video store. Red lit video like backlighting. Woof. Yeah. Talk about Giallo, baby. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful closeout to this trilogy. Yeah. Like Ty West just like knows what he's doing. Like you could tell that the vision just keeps getting larger and larger. And when this movie drops, I, I can't wait to go back and watch like X and Pearl and Maxine all in a string, yeah. like a big marathon, because like, I don't know, the budget gets bigger. But like he's not going too overboard. Like he's very clear on like the story he's trying to tell. So 
it's kind of it would be kind of cool to watch it from the beginning all the way to the end and watch how it kind of all wraps up together yeah and when you think about it i know we've talked about this before but talk about ambition from a director to to go from x <laughs> can't talk <laughs> to go from x which is like total grindhouse style pearl which is like classic hollywood wizard of oz very vibrant and to this total 80s aesthetic and from the looks of it he's gonna pull it off so to have a trilogy and have each one be just completely different from the other in terms of style and ty west is just crushing it right now he's and he's kind of taking on like new territory in the way that like usually when it comes to like horror franchises and trilogies it's your you know halloween screams and this is more along the lines of like that modern i hate to say the word but like elevated horror but it has like a a really really solid story like everything's there casting is great the story is great it has the kills it has the gore it's just like a fully fleshed out like horror universe that he created which like you could argue that saw has done that or scream has done that but like I don't know. He's firing on all cylinders is what it, is what it feels like. Yeah. And I, I knew that there was going to be like a serial killer um, following Maxine story, but I didn't know that it was going to be like the night stalker. Like that's footage. pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know that at all. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to say, I really hope that like things don't start leaking out on like who is playing Richard Ramirez or if they even show him, Think they're gonna bring back uh, Lou Diamond Phillips? Woo! Uh, no, <laughs> he played Richard Ramirez. <laughs> when did he play Richard Ramirez? It, it was in like some sort of like TV movie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we I mean, don't look just Lou like Diamond Phillips. Enough. Yeah, just give you just you know mess up his teeth a little bit, and he's got he has the same kind of sunken in face. Yeah, but yeah, we don't need Lou Diamond Phillips back up on the screen. Shout out to La Bamba. And uh, all those bad sci-fi movies he was in, like the Sci-Fi Network, from Death Still Dawn to like Lake Placid Six, Electric yeah. Boogaloo, or something. Yeah. But no, nah, dude, me, I, I, I like how you could tell, like Mia Goth knows this character inside and out, and it seems like we're getting the layers peeled back even more on on in this one. I think it would be cool to have some like. To have some flashbacks, maybe, of, like, Pearl, just to, like, see, because, you know, she, her and Pearl's life kind of went parallel, except Maxine made it to the big time. I so, kind of get the timelines confused, because Mia Goth played Pearl. Pearl, yeah. Also, wait, see, okay, never mind what I, I just said. <laughs> okay, I, I, see, I see where you were going. Okay, yeah, I get confused because Mia Goth played Pearl. She's also Maxine. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. So yeah. So Maxine. Right. Yeah. Obviously, didn't wasn't married to Howard. Yep. Got yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, what you call high quality podcasting here. <laughs> forgetting everything since 2015 <laughs> or whatever. 2019. 2019. I yeah. don't know how to read five uh, five year anniversary coming up this June. I think. Hey. All right. We got to hey. do something big and bold. Hey, speaking of, uh, you got your plane ticket in North Carolina officially? Yeah. Officially coming in on, what did I say, the 22nd at 140. Hell yeah. Can't wait. I just want to let this trailer play on silent. I just want to yeah, check just out. pick apart the background a little bit. Yeah. Also, I love how they're filming on, uh, it looks like they're filming on the Universal lot. Like just, the one we were like go with the one we took a tour through when we were in California, which is really cool to like yeah. see that. Well, we did screen. um we did Warner Again. Brothers. Warner Brothers. Uh, yeah. It looked like the Warner Brothers lot, and then they filmed at like Universal in the Psycho House is what it looked like too. That's what I was saying. Hey, hold on. Can you go back a little bit? Maybe pause it on those tapes. Let's see I, what kind of stack he's got. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to mention that I was going to say, I love that a video store is going to be, huh? 
Yeah, there's there's no way to oh, pause. It. Let's see those tapes, baby. What you got? I think it's too blurry. Uh, I think I see a s- no. I thought I saw escape from something. Damn it. Enhance. I did see a media release of some kind. The dorm that drip blood? No. Uh, huh. I don't know. But yeah, love that as a setting video store. And there's a lot of uh, you could tell like the really vibrant red. He is going for like a giallo sort of feel lots of neon signs i mean it is the 80s look at that that's beautiful i miss neon signs such a lost art form dude new york in the 80s was like all neon all those old school like xxx signs Uh uh-huh it was beautiful there my dad grew up in the city he went to like uh like peep shows and stuff like that in Times square when Times square was like really rough Uh uh-huh I, I miss the I miss the grittiness of New York. I bet he's got some stories. Holy shit. Let's get your yeah. dad on the podcast. <laughs> I told you he's down to do it. Bobby Cannavale is always great. Yeah. Michelle Monaghan. Oh my god. Yeah, hobby. that one shot with the knife in front of the video sign. Whew. That's a it screensaver. Is, it is sexy. I'm curious. I'm kind of debating whether well this is really i like that angle how someone looks like they found the videotape of like her from when they were shooting the uh you know the horror movie oh yeah in texas uh so maybe one of the cops are in Mm. on it or um i don't know because they obviously know that a murder happened there they probably did some dna testing to trace it back to maxine and they're on the look out for her well i also like elizabeth debicki as like that um i never watched the crown that's not my style really but i i like her personality in general yeah and um sorry not to be that guy but i don't think dna testing was around until mid 90s i believe when I said that, I was thinking of all those forensic uh, forensic files episodes I saw where it was like, yeah. yeah, we couldn't catch them until 2005, and this is a cold <laughs> case for 35 years. So, uh, oh, I like Wait, that shot. Kind of yeah. looked like the Michael Myers mask a little bit. Oh, just missed it. Real quick. Let's do a little hot rewind. Enhance. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Not really sure what that is, but it looks like it could be... And you know what... what another angle that we could be getting kind of like a meta angle where you can't really tell what the movie is and what reality is. Hmm. Maybe and it has a very, uh, also dressed to kill type of energy. Still got to watch that. Oh dude, I'm telling you it's five out of five. Kevin Bacon. I mean, come on. A, a grizzled Kevin Bacon at that. <sighs> He's all bloodied and has the five o'clock shadow. Yeah, dude, I am excited for this. It's going to be a fun one. I'm, and it, it's, it's coming out July 4th, apparently. July 5th. One, two, three, four, fifth. Fifth? Yeah. All right. Fourth of July weekend, baby. I can't think of no better summer movie. Like, I know we wanted it to, or we were talking about it possibly coming out in October. Different type of vibe. Yeah. Dude, the back half of 2024 whew, fucking stacked. We got to get through uh we got to get through Abigail first. Uh, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> where, where. Maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, hey, talk about not. anti-hard. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't I have no good feelings for for that movie, but Hey, what else I'm pretty stoked about that we haven't talked about in a violent nature? Yes. Yeah. That we should do a, a trailer reaction of too, or something like that, or maybe just talk about it because that is going to be interesting. Yeah, that. totally reminds me of the town of Dread, that dreaded sundown. Yeah, I mean you can't help but think of Friday the Thirteenth from that trailer. So it looks like the slasher that we've been waiting for. Yes, and it's from like the killer's perspective, so that's kind of an interesting angle to to go about it. And he's like mute apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really interested to see that. I think it comes out on Shutter in late May. 
Oh, I looked it up last night. I am not going to see that on Shutter. I'm going to Alamo definitely has to play that for you. Yeah, I am going to desperately find a movie theater playing that. I do not want to sit on my couch and watch that movie. Yeah, if I can catch it in theaters, I definitely will. Anything else about Maxine, Doug? I mean, I, I just want this movie right now. I, I want it. I want it now. But uh, the other movies that are coming out, like you were talking about for the back half, uh, Long Maxine, legs. Long Legs, Cuckoo, Terrifier 3, Terrifier 3, um, In a Violent Nature, Nosferatu. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's going to top off 2024. That look. Yeah, we have a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Sure do. And honestly, 2024 is shaping up to be a solid year so far because Immaculate was awesome. Much better than last year, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, last year was a bomb. I don't even remember what came out last year. Slim pickings. <laughs> I mean, When Evil Lurks and ah. Talk to Me were like the two best. But they were the standouts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Immaculate was really good. The first Omen I saw yesterday and thought was surprisingly and shockingly good phil's gonna see it uh this week and we're gonna do a review on it Hopefully uh, it's hell yeah i'm i'm looking forward to hearing what you're gonna say about it because as you said in the past the fir- the original the first first omen isn't uh isn't your biggest you know fave uh, not really i'm not gonna watch it um this afternoon because there's an eclipse happening in like 30 minutes and i kind of want to see that yeah you got the special glasses you're gonna go out there naked eyed gonna burn my retinas off hey do you think it's any coincidence that this trailer dropped on the day of the eclipse because maxine is eclipsing the competition <laughs> hey, hey, hey pun Dude. intended with five U's. i was is like suck on this <laughs> you want this trailer check it out <laughs> And sh- don't shut your eyes. Stare directly at it. <laughs> the blood moon, baby. Yes, but we are both very excited for this. Um, if you are still watching, do us a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. More reactions to come. More episodes. More of everything. Hey, look at that thumbs Fucking up. Fucking no. Give me the 4th of July confetti. This how is what does, we need right now. How does yours do that? I mean, I'm on a Mac also. Uh, I just have more star power. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I seriously, I want to turn it off. I don't know why. Hey, we all know who the star is. His name Maxine, is Douglas. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> the star is Nova. Where's Nova? <laughs> um, okay, we are going to go ahead and get on out of here. But thank you for tuning in. I know it's a, it's a endurance test for us to keep a video under twenty minutes. There it is. <laughs> Once we get started, we're like, hey, what else can we talk about? <laughs> but it's a reaction video. Let's keep it short. Um, but yeah, we will see you guys soon for another episode. But thank you so much for tuning into this, Doug. I love you. Love you, Daddy. All right, love you guys. Bye.